These are five steps to help you get better at chess. Think of these as your first steps, going from blundering your queen every single game to becoming a grandmaster. Step one, instead of learning openings, focus on learning opening principles. Here's a few basic rules. At the beginning of the game, activate as many pieces as possible. Another way to think about this is don't move the same piece twice. There are exceptions to this rule, like if your opponent attacks you or offers a piece for free, easy. But if both of you are playing solid, follow this rule. Within the first few moves, try to have at least one pawn in the center of the board. Some pawns to avoid moving early are your flank pawns and specifically your F pawn, which just makes your king really weak and kind of sad. Move your knights before you move your bishops. There are certain openings where you can violate this principle, but as a general rule, the knights, you kind of already know where they're going to go and be happy controlling some center squares, so you might as well move them to where they want to be. Within the first eight moves, do not move more than three pawns. And make sure you castle your king into its nice, safe beach home resort where it can sip margaritas by the ocean and not worry about any of the drama going on in the rest of the board. Once your king is safe, you can have all sorts of fun with attacking ideas while your opponent king is just stuck in the center of the board, like the discard pile in Uno. And the last step to reach complete development are to make sure your rooks are happily married. In other words, they're on the back rank and connected, both spiritually and emotionally. I would aim to do this by move 10 or so. Tip two, play slower time controls. Playing with more time on the clock will just give you more time to calculate. You have more time to look for blunders more time to feel comfortable on a move, and more time to develop a game plan. Playing faster time controls can actually reinforce bad habits. So I recommend playing rapid games of at least 10 minutes or higher. My personal favorites are 15-10, which is 15 minutes with a 10 second increment, and 30 minute games. I understand some of you Zoomers might not have the patience to play games in those time controls, but uh, if you actually want to sauce on your opponents, this is your best chance at improvement. Spend at least 10 seconds on each of your moves. Even if you already have an idea, of the moves you want to play. Consider what each of your opponent's moves will be after you make your move. Slower time controls will give you a better opportunity to analyze your opponent's threats and decide whether you need to respond to them or if you can develop your own game plan. Remember, it's not solitaire. Chess is a two-player game. Tip three, learn to manage your clock. The clock is a piece, and if you blunder your time, you will lose the game. Here are some helpful strategies. Spend less time on easy moves so you can spend more time on complex moves. Especially once the opening has been established, devising a plan in the middle game just takes a little bit more time. So don't be afraid to slow down and calculate. Use your opponent's clock time to think. Consider what you think the top three responses of your opponents might be during your turn, and preemptively think about what you will do in response to those moves. If you're going too fast, just remember, there's no reward for winning a game with more or less time on the clock. If you lose a game with six minutes on the clock, that's six more minutes you could have used to have done additional calculation at a critical juncture in the game that could have made the difference between losing and winning. And if you won the game with six minutes on the clock, it's possible you could have played that game at an even higher accuracy if you spent more of your time calculating. Now, the final tips I have for you are the most critical for your success. And if this video helps you at all, please consider subscribing. It really supports our channel. There's also a juicy link in the description if you want to join our chess club on chess.com. Come play with us. You'll get better at chess. Tip number four, analyze every single game after you play it. I really can't stress the importance of this one enough. Most people don't analyze their games. Why? I, I don't know. People are lazy. Probably just... It's boring or people just want to play more chess. But the truth is there are far fewer ways to getting better at chess than reviewing your own mistakes that you make during a live game. Websites like chess.com, Lee Chess, and many others all have built in tools to conduct a game analysis. The engine can help you determine which moves you made that were accurate and which moves you made that were mistakes. At the beginning of your chess career, I really want you to focus on using this tool just to figure out when you're blundering pieces and when your opponents are blundering pieces. Usually you can tell when the engine evaluates a move as a blunder when the evaluation swings like three or more points in one direction, like the button game at Dave and Buster's. And there will be some moves the engine suggests that just don't make any sense to you. And that's because the engine does think deeper than just one move blunders. You could have done something as subtle as missed a four move combination or made a positional inaccuracy. I have separate videos of where I do analyses of my own games if you wanna see exactly 
how I use the engine to improve my play at higher levels. But as a beginner, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Just focus on playing solid chess. And for tip number five, find a mentor that is significantly better than you and train with them regularly. Set up time with them to play games against each other. Review your games do puzzles together, or even collaboratively play a game against an opponent. This person doesn't need to be Magnus Carlsen, okay? It should just be someone who's at least a bit better than you. That can also give you honest and critical feedback. For example, I'm 1600, but have a coach who's around 1900. If I ever got to 1900, I'd probably look for a coach that was a little over the rating of 2000. This doesn't mean someone at the same skill level at you can't be your training partner, but you should always have someone higher level than you that you can consult for advice. But Nick, I don't know anyone better better at chess than me, sad boy time. <laughs> well, today's your lucky day because you should join our Discord, where we have players from the ratings of 200 all the way up to over 2,000 that would love to help you improve your gameplay. You can also follow us on Twitch, where we do things such as 1v1s, game reviews, tournaments, and much more, where you can meet other stronger players. And if you're interested in more chess content, check out these spicy videos that can help you on your journey towards chess mastery. Take it easy out there, soldier.